have no clue what the fuck is on this here. Hey, you're being on there. Somebody riding a horse? Yeah, don't do such a thing. I don't know, look, it's just uh, riding a horse right here. Oh, yeah, that shows how much I care. I didn't block the horse. I didn't block, I just why don't know. Good evening, Deck. It's always good to see you. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. I know a I know, I know secret technique called percussive maintenance. There we go. That's better. If you want to say hi to him here, you should say hi to him. I don't have anything else. You're a last resort. Okay. I don't have any effects. Uh -huh. I have actually agreed to the celebrity before, so I should be familiar with it. Uh, I know that's not why I was making that noise, because I didn't install that. <laughs> Hello, Pika Pete. How's oh. it going? Hello. Doing good. Oh, we got one of the, we got one of the items. <laughs> Playing tag it. I think I heard, I think I heard from her somewhere <laughs> before. She must be really famous on YouTube or Twitch or something. I do, uh, playing by playing the animations. Nope, nope, not nope, really. nope, nope. Nice. <laughs> nope. 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 Thank you. I should make Pinky <laughs> Prime a model in VR chat with like final IK yeah. legs. I'm surprised you around. Around. I'm surprised that no one has made one yet. Hello. I gotta do it myself. You gotta you you animate them if you watch them, the way you yeah, animate them. Making... Wait, hold on, My toggles don't work correctly. Like Only yours. one at a time can be enabled. So it's not behind all the night after the tour. upload it. It won't be quest compatible. I tried it just now. I just get sent back to home. So there's apparently too much in the world for it to be quest compatible. Even though I lowered it under 100. It needs to be debugged. Uh, yeah, Hello there, Nick. So Hello. Yeah. I can't. I don't have a chance to say hello. Don't worry. I'll pat your head. Hello. I just uploaded this avatar. And picked it up this morning. Yep. Uh, Force yeah, blade. Yeah, 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 oh my god. And we're in the toy like section. And he doesn't oh, know what to show me. So he picked up the yeah. um, Pie Pie Pie. 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 I'm making this quest compatible. Including the other including the other three classes in um uh Earth Defense Force. Ready to archive quite a doozy of a tour? You know that fucking you can't make uh avatars to use cut out. Mic networking or something? Which is weird because like, which is weird because like, I think I remember like Bone Lab actually is able to do that. No, you can only use their specific shooters. They Bone Lab has its own shader that does cut out. And um. And then we are looking at color schemes of the old 80s so show, like Hot Rod has the maroon you gotta, color you gotta, you gotta go, I guess, submit so when we to them. Alright. So it's been a while, it's been a long time since, long time since the last time you were mute. <laughs> you had talked a lot through a good chunk of the tours. Yeah. I guess selective makes sense. I might not talk as much. I have my reasons, but I might not talk as much. Yeah, understandable. I'm not trying to force you into more attacking, but it's just like the observation. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Kick! 
That's the important one. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hello. Major factor on the menu. Oh, I, all I gotta do is go. Back on the menu, boys. He slapped. I have a few seconds. And this time, oh. kindly make your way the I thought that was the combined oh, you know. Please make a way to the Okay. Make your way to the prep room. I believe we're being shown around by a funny dude. No, this is good work. Good work on this model. Pretty good. I know we did it on that one. This is a cat and a dog getting along. What's wrong with the two of you? Multiple dogs and a cat get along. Hang on, let me try and focus the first off. Oh my. Uh, I'm... Big motherfucker. What? <laughs> yeah, Mood, your avatar is adorable. I love it. Dang, I didn't have my glasses on this time. You lucky son of a. Yeah, I can't get rid of this camera thing. I don't know how to put it away. I feel weep all the full body. This is just the opening to a new anime. Are you saying it's probably the opening to the new VR Travelers anime? <laughs> if you hold the grip on the side, a little pointer comes up and you can close it up, doesn't it? If you want to advertise with dogs, come in. Uh, with your other hand. <laughs> so you hold it and then press the grip on your controller. And there'll be a couple hours. Like the pointer thing comes up and there's an action. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it is. The pointer thing wasn't showing up for the longest time. Thanks. This is your mission. So you'll be able to, like, take off your headset if you need to do so. Mm hmm. <laughs> It's like a tour. What the dog thing? If someone made a world, a lot of people are giving like tour like what the dogs do. Okay, you know those machines that they like make fast candy with. Okay, I'm gonna say this now because this has to be one of those. Let the dog 
Cam. You mean drop cammy? You could pull the coffee in one of them. Or the taffy stairs. Yeah, it looks like Andrew did some jokes on the opportunity for this discussion. You know, I do like the opportunity at least. Yeah. You. He got knife. He just brought us the thing. He just didn't like the way he was turning taffy. So I mean, if it's magical, that means I can You know how they pull the taffy with that machine? I have learned a bit better on tuning up the taffy machine. Can I? Um, and because I have knowledge of magic, I can see that. I'm glad you I'm vulnerable to blades because, well, Taffy's <laughs> good. Taffy <laughs> brings children joy. Uh, uh, like, this drill <laughs> <laughs> at an interdimensional crossroad. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. Our point of contact to the narrative domain. My name is Sheen. I am an infomorphic, mimetic, meme complex and one of the tour guides of VR Travelers. Long ago, when the first mortals walked with us, we guided them through stories designed to evoke emotion. But these narratives, however brilliant, only shine the brightest when their limits are broken. How does one free the limits of a world within its own creator's headspace? A concept given words and voice in turn gives the observer infinite potential to create a narrative within their own mind. It is private and held dear in their own image. On the shores of your own creation, wills are born, given life by your own private fancy. A single soul can create 10,000 stories, and all of them brimming with ether. We slowly became more aware of this potential, and the answer became clear to us. Complete, mutual understanding of oneself reflected in the narrative's interpretation. As our ether is allowed into a narrative, it is through this mutual will to power towards a story's character's future that they begin to gain their own soul, and the aforementioned limit breaks the dimensional barrier. For you see, they no longer are confined within one, but many. The narrative's future slowly shifts ownership from a single mind to the entire collective unconscious. Res Nolia. This story was written as such. This story seeks for you to understand not only the tour guide, 
but yourself. Such a feat could only be performed by the greatest storyteller, the greatest voice actor, and the greatest friend. Travelers, it is my honor to introduce to you Trajim, the tour guide. Yeah! yeah. The tapping yeah. machine has spoken! Just uh, Taffy machine. What? Now he's a cute infomorphic mimetic meme meme complex. What he called himself. Memes! The DNA of the soul! Good evening, yes, exactly. wanderers of the narrative hall. As mentioned, my name is Trajim. And I will be your storyteller tonight. This is a story-based tour. And as with any tour in the real world, I kindly ask that you remain with me, and whenever we stop for narration, become silent. However, you are encouraged to talk amongst yourselves while we walk. Mm. Mm. I will drop a portal in front of me to tonight's event where a little more will be explained to you, but please do not enter the portal until I give the signal to do so. I will see you on the other side. Onward! Let's go! And shrimpies, oh. they're shrimp guys. Yep. They have the spears. Oh, the, oh, the yep. god skins guy. Oh, yeah, right. Those guys. Those guys catches me off guard. I don't have them. They're shrimp guys, and they have the spears. Very slow. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. 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 No, 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 the centipede guy. The shrimpy. Okay. Hey, panda. The centipede guy. Panda. Some real nice. Much better. I couldn't find the climbing helmet. Watch, watch, watch. I wonder if everyone was able to get through. This is gonna be you. Maximum what the fuck? I hit my heart. Oh, yeah. Hey. Descending from the heck. Cherry. No, I don't have a shrimpy. Uh, there we go. 
How did you oh, make this world so cute? You're adorable. Uh, I gotta have a 3070. Yeah, I don't have to hide everyone. Me too, Rockies. Oh, I gotta eat. Uh, what's that? Oh, you're not. You, you're not exempt from any duty. Come here. Come here. Are you going for the good one? There is no escape. You cannot escape. I guess you did get my brother from there, Hello. 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 No. Oh shit, my bad. Okay. Oh, oh crap, Pika Petey's here. Long live Hi, I'm, I, I came for the show. Tour. Story. Uh, hey, what's up? <laughs> no idea what I got in myself. Oh, 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 Pika Petey's face. What's the machine? He's... Is that him? <laughs> Wait, am I talking? Oh. Yes, you're yes. talking. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, you you so, what does he mean by you're famous? I made some animations on YouTube. He's the first furry of VR, VR chat. Cool. Oh, that too. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess. I made this <laughs> avatar and it exploded on the scene in 2018. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm not showing your stuff because like, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a laptop and I'm kind of limiting what I'm seeing. Oh. I'm on a laptop and I'm seeing all this. Um, I'm, I'm just limiting my stuff. Then came Ah, oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, so you don't see me walking cool. around. You probably do have a better see, like, robot. Five. Robot with no loading. <laughs> Most people here Please are going to the party where you can hear the tour guide clearly. Story time. One. Story time. Friends and travelers, gather around where you can hear me comfortably. There are some. Everyone notes. gather around the cube. Please listen carefully. Take a moment now to adjust your world volume. You should be able to hear distant waves. Mm. I hate how they put it on my like two four button chance. presses. Sorry. To minimize the chance of you crashing, you do not need any avatars enabled for this tour. Except for yours truly and my fellow tour guides, feel free to use safety settings to turn off all the rest. I'll take that. You are welcome to add myself and my fellow tour guides beside me as friends. <laughs> if you need to get back into the instance, please send an invite request to Rendizo or Sheen. And they will Question help you hypercube. get back to the group. Question hypercube. Are there people up there, your tour guides as well? No. Uh, no. The no. Okay, no, the to my left. Draven. And Rendizo to my right. Oh, they are okay, the tour cool. Guides. Thanks for clearing that up. Quite all right. To those in desktop mode, if you press tab, and to those in VR, hold your right hand above your head and press the menu button. You'll see this world's menu. And you'll Ooh. see a fast travel option. Use this when instructed to do so by a tour guide to help you get back to the group. Or if you happen to know which chapter we're up to. Ideally, tour guides help you. One last note before we begin. This world has some strong lights and color filters. Be warned. My friends, let us begin. Hypercube. How do we make the new menu go away? You have to um, have again. your quick menu Remember open and then click the X on the top right. Yep. Uh, More that. The menu should okay, go good. away when you move. I did, but it didn't go away. Since what I'm not in VR. Use your control. Oh, Since what the mute button doesn't work anymore. Sorry, it doesn't go away. Just please where you last um, activated it. My friends, time is of the essence. Please, follow me. What the? <coughs> what the? That was a bit cranky. Oh no, I swear. Actually, hold on. I don't hydro. think I'm broken. I think I'm just. That's fine. Get... I think it just stinks. That's weird. Get some hydraulics in your legs, man. Oh, me. Yeah. 
It's a little cozy. Now nah, you're okay, big guy. Yeah, sir, I mean, I did like do <laughs> some extra tune up after, on here. my armor after the. Uh, I am trying to think. This is yeah, the last one. So I guess maybe that's why I only <laughs> felt stinging pain and not broken limb pain. <laughs> but who knows? If I fall on a higher height, that might break my limbs. <laughs> I left my body behind. Damn, are we invented? Yeah, or maybe yeah, the uh, ground was, uh, you know, like some sort of trick brick ground and just something sat there. Oh. One last note that yeah. I think requires bringing up. <laughs> if you have questions, please, you are welcome to ask. However, so as to not interrupt the flow of the tour, please take a moment to take aside Rendizu or Sheen to ask them the questions. Or send us a message on Discord. Thank you. <clears throat> and now, travelers, without further ado, the story <clears throat> begins. Listen. Can you hear it? The waves. They say that when I was born, everyone could hear it. But the midwives, the guards, the servants, cooks and stable hands, everyone in the castle, everybody in the kingdom, everybody heard the ocean. But something was wrong. That didn't make any sense. The ocean is nowhere near the kingdom. The oracle said it was a sign that I was different. I never heard the waves myself. At least, not until. Castle Tower, alone in a dark chamber, a young prince trembles beneath the covers. His brow is furrowed with worry, his breath shallow and rapid, his mind is full, overflowing with grim images, twisted visions memories of that night, that storm, that harrowing storm, dark waters churning, roiling, 
nightmares plague him, guilt plagues him. Some of the crew members and soldiers were found along the beaches, blue faces strangled by seaweed, bloated, half buried in grey sands. But his father was not among them. All were lost to the sea. All but the prince. He awakens with a start, saved from the darkness of his own imagination, finding brief reprieve in the pop of a candle. But the remission is short-lived. He sits up, looks at the raindrops sliding down the glass, then slowly surveys the dark corners of his chamber. There is a meal on his cabinet, likely cold as stone. The thought of food upsets him, his appetite absent for one or two moons now. With a shaking sigh, he reaches over, scooping up a trinket from his bedside table, and he brings it close to his face, squinting in the low light to make out its details. It's a pendant from the sacred land of Lydicia, given to him by his father, the late king. All he has is this pendant, his mother and his brother. Ah, his brother, a warmth ignites in his heart, spreading across his body, keeping the cold at bay. Strong, charming, smart, his brother is everything their parents wanted. He even went to battle alongside the Silver Aegis and came back unscathed. The people look up to him. His brother is the king they want. The chill of night begins to win the fight. The pendant loses its power as his bed pleads for him to return. Heavy covers under which he can hide and wish himself away. A fragile bulwark against a callous, ruthless world that doesn't want him. He dives back down into his refuge and... Who would be at his door at this time of night? Is it one of the guard making sure he hasn't fled? Is it the nurse checking up on him again? Is it the zealots finally here to drag him to the tower? Rain batters the glass as he turns his head toward the door. You're still awake. The prince exhales tension and nods. His brother steps out of shadow, wearing a cloak and carrying a bag. Why is he dressed at this time of night? Has anyone entered your room? The prince looks at his brother. Have they? He doesn't think so. Aside from the rain and wind, the castle has been quiet. His brother seems nervous, and it makes the prince nervous. He shakes his head. Good. The brother glances toward the door. Get dressed. Grab whatever you can carry. The prince's heart sinks. Questions and fears swim in his mind like eels in a bucket of water. Is there a fire? Has Dacia finally reached the capital? Is his mother, the queen, sending him away? Is he finally going to prison for what he did? But none of the questions leave his lips. He just sits there, useless. Listen. His brother approaches the bed. This is serious. Put on your cloak. Take whatever you don't want to leave behind. Someone... Someone is after us, and... He turns suddenly to face the door. The prince tries to listen. Hurry, the brother says in a harsh whisper. Now! The prince is terrified. He climbs out of the covers and reaches down to open the trunk at the foot of the bed, rummaging for his warmest cloak. 
that dark blue one with the hood. What about Mother? The prince's voice feels weak as though it's about to shatter. What about the guards? The Aegis? What about no? There's no time. His voice frightens the prince. Why is he being like this? The prince finds his cloak and swings it over his shoulders. He slips a long tunic over his nightgown, fastens it with a felt belt he can find, and slips into some boots. He only has time to stuff the Lydician pendant into his pocket before his brother grabs his hand and almost drags him to the door. The brother stops, gestures for the prince to be quiet, and peers out into the passageway. My friends, let us follow the pair into the dark. <laughs> and so it begins. Immersive D&D. &D. Just wish we had dice. through empty halls. The castle has been quiet thus far, but here, footsteps echo from some place ahead. Behind here, whispers the brother, pressing himself against a pillar. A moment later, the door swings open, the sounds of armour rattling and a woman panting draw nearer. The prince holds his breath. The figure staggers past in a rush, glancing around only briefly, and they exit the way the brothers came from. The Aegis, the prince's heart flutters. But... Something's wrong. She looked... injured. And how didn't she notice them? The prince peers up at his brother, expecting him to go after her. But he doesn't. The brother grabs his hand and uses a side door. My friends, this, this way. Wait, what? Ah! Oh, I can't see. Why are we here? the prince asks. The brother hurries past the shelves and moves to the far end of the room, ignoring the question. He starts to check everything, moving random objects, looking behind and under furniture. The prince just stands there and looks at a nearby open book, some old red tome. Who is after us? The brother stops. The Oracle is dead. The Inquisitor killed him. He looks the prince directly in the eyes, breathless, afraid. I saw it happen. And he saw me. The prince stumbles back. The Oracle, dead. And the Inquisitor is... A cold chill crawls up the back of his neck. A sick feeling boils in his stomach. Dead. But, but the Oracle said that he is the Chosen One. The Oracle said that he survived for a reason. 
The Oracle said he would learn how to control it if he went to Lodicia and found it. The brother steps back and dusts his hands. Help me move this. The two of them, carefully, quietly as they can, drag a shelf away from the wall. Behind it, low to the ground, is an old door. A secret passage. This leads outside the castle, the brother says. Are you ready? How is he supposed to answer that? Ready? How can he be ready? No, this has to be a dream. It feels like a dream, a nightmare. The oracle can't be dead. Any moment now he's going to be shaken awake by his nurse, and mother will be there, and for once he will welcome her presence. Mm. Yes, it's just a nightmare. Hey. Hey. His brother pulls him back. I know you're afraid. I am too. But without us, Lazarus has no ruler after mother. We're going to escape. We're going to hide. We're going to get help. And then I'm going to figure out a way to solve all this, all right? It's going to be okay. We'll be okay. The prince can only bring himself to nod before they both crawl into the secret passage. My friends, let us follow them. Yay, secret passages! <laughs> Pretty uh, low sorry. win for a secret passage. What? Uh, yeah. This, this, this is it. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I realized after that. Why all these scandals? I said the spoiler. Who's this Inquisitor guy? Take an axolotl, go bird. I'm not liking him too Who's much. Who's Inquisitor? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me they're that the Star Wars reference. <laughs> Let me out. He's just, he's just his... cramped. I think the Inquisitor I asks too many questions. But the story the must continue. continue. <laughs> My friends, your attention, please. The brothers emerge from the cramped passageway and find themselves in a dimly lit basement. It seems similar to the kitchen cellars, but the prince doesn't directly recognize it. Judging by his brother's face, he doesn't recognize it either. The brother begins to cross the room slowly, checking every footstep. The prince stops. What's that noise? It sounds like grinding, rumbling, a storm. No, no, not again. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. In a moonlight forest, a beast strides out of the undergrowth. It glides across the ground, argent, majestic, silent. A great silver elk. It lands, pauses, turns back. A younger tawny elk follows, slower and with less majesty, yet bearing great promise. The great elk observes the younger elk's shadow, the shadow moves. It betrays the form. The forest becomes dark. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options. Four ways he can react to this vision. Descend, divulge, dwell, and distract. As a group, I will give you two minutes to discuss what you think he should do. After this time, I will call one of you to give the best answer you have heard from the group. Your time begins now. Oh, wow. Okay. Descend. So, 
Descend. Descend for sure. Probably. Descend into the dog. I mean, I, I kind of want to see what happens when you come out. Close the toilet. Descend into the dock. Leave. I understand. I mean, there's one in the toilet. Yes. I'm panicking. I believe divulging would just be telling the brother what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, no, dwelling. You can think of dwelling. I agree on peak on that one. Dwelling is oh. where you're in the moment thinking I'm busy. What you're doing. So, uh, is that I what I'm going to do? Do you like for? Oh, that's what I thought. Uh, uh, unfortunately, my sword is rather sore, so I'll have to go. You're being so, wait. So, but if you're being, okay, if you're escaping assassination, uh, and there's this vision coming on you, don't you want to, like, escape being assassinated? Well, also at the same time, That's it's, what's uh, going on right now, yeah. right? That is like, a fair there's an point, assassination but... going on. It's, it's, it's a god, uh, uh, it's a hostile take we, takeover. We could no divulge in there. I'll be going off. I do think for the story and all that. But a sword throw plus five in the ball, so... I but you're pushing it too hard and, you know... Have a good night. I don't know. So... You too. Yeah, so... I'm kind of leaning towards the door. Take care. Descend. Yeah. So, so I think... Um, I think it's a great uh, peek on this I one. think descending... Descend descending would be get... Too far to the vision, and then I don't know, you just kind of lose touch of reality. <laughs> the, okay, the kid oh. is so terrified right now, he's disassociating. <laughs> That's what's going on. On. He's disassociating from reality. Or there's anything that's going on. Say it, Hale. Your attention, please. Real quick. I ask your attention in silence. It is time to choose a person. Memo me. Do you speak? Yeah. He does. You have been chosen. Yeah. What is the best idea you've heard? Descend, divulge, dwell, or distract? Uh, distract. Distract. Interesting. Let's give it a shot. Fair enough. There are no bad answers, but we first all My friends, do not be dismayed. No the only possible no present is the current one. And this is what happens. <laughs> the prince tries to shift his focus elsewhere. These visions bring nothing but misfortune and suffering. He reaches into his pocket and grips the Ludician pendant. Someday this will all be over, he tells himself. Someday. Okay, okay. Um. <laughs> hey. Are you alright? His brother is holding his shoulder. No vision is worth your life. Come on, let's keep moving. My friends, the story continues. Oh my god, this, this way. way. <laughs> On onward. <laughs> onward. Yeah. Yeah. So this other is basically. Yeah. It's <laughs> about distract. Oh. So, don't be... the ball's hard. Interesting yeah. to see where the distract route goes. The ball's hardened. I can float on nothing. 
You must For not now. bow to me now. Do you really think that's gonna damage this? The stop sign's not gonna do anything. My friends, the story continues. Make sure you can hear me. Do not stray too far. The brother stops the prince as they come out on a high platform overlooking more stone-hewn chambers. The prince listens. There are voices coming. The prince tries to pull away and go back through the door, but his brother drags him down instead. And they watch and listen as two figures enter, dressed in red garb. Are you sure we have to search every room down here? Ivana Zealot with red hair comes to a stop in the middle of the room. Nobody comes this far. Most don't even know the way. The taller Zealot with him shakes his head. If the Fireborn says to check every room, we're checking every room. Varna, I have mercy on you if you want to go against that order. Besides, the Aegis came this way, and he wants to make Make sure she's on our side. Just as he says this, another door opens, and they both draw their swords. The Silver Aegis herself stumbles in, still clad in shining armor, sword also drawn. A moment of tension, before they collectively sigh. What happened to you? asks one of the zealots, sheathing his blade. Yeah, he attacked me, the prince. So, says the red-haired zealot, it's true then. The prince is an enemy of the church. They both are, the Aegis says. But the younger prince wasn't in his chamber. She begins to look around the room. The prince shrinks down. They're both on the run, then, says the tall zealot. Seems the Fireborn was right. Only an enemy of God would attack the most reputable knight in Lazarus. And to murder the Oracle in cold blood? The princes are demons possessed by Dacian spirits. Come, let us search together. If the princes are so cunning as to get the better of you, he caught me off guard, the Aegis snaps. He didn't seem himself. Hmm. Still, we'll cover you in case he tries the same tricks again. The Aegis gives a nod, and the three of them exit, leaving the princes alone again. There they lie for some time. The prince wants to turn his head to see his brother's face. But he also doesn't. After a time, the brother slowly gets up and helps the prince to his feet. They look at one another for a moment, wordless, and climb down. My friends, the way out is surely just ahead. Let's follow them. I think. So oh my is. god. Prepared this time. So Someone's praying. Aiming the prince? Oh, sh Maybe. You so you going here? Maybe. You don't know. Hmm. Okay, this is definitely not roomy. Well, I'm uh, about to take my thousand year nap. Alright, see you guys later. Don't wake up. What are you all <laughs> doing in my house? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay, Goodbye, um, um, oh, oh, here's, no. okay, Cube oh, is here. No. <laughs> Story <laughs> time. That was my bitch yesterday. Oh, wait, where are we? Where the fuck are we? My friends, you your attention, shit, please. Blah, blah. The story okay. must continue. The story continues. Chapter 2 A final secret tunnel takes them up some steep stairs and into some long abandoned home. A chill wind whistles through cracks in the shutters 
accompanied by the gentle grey of dawn, and the rain has since eased. The moth-eaten rug breaks apart as the prince makes his way to the old, dust-covered bed. He sits and sighs. He is tired and hungry, and his stomach still churns. The brother goes to the window and peers outside, one hand on the handle of his sidearm. Is that there this whole time? The prince wants to ask about it. And the aegis, and the oracle, and the inquisitor. But his mouth is dry, and his jaw aches, and for he, for the first time, is afraid of the only person who has always been there for him. I think it's safe here. Are you all right? His brother is looking at him. The prince nods, and the brother approaches and offers a water skin. Here, he says, have some. The prince looks at the water skin. The leather is carved with their royal emblem. He wants to take it. He wants to trust his brother. But he can't. You think I attacked the Aegis, the brother says. You think I killed the Oracle? The prince looks away. Well, says the brother, I did one of those things. I attacked the Aegis. I didn't want to, but you must understand, I had no choice. I saw the Inquisitor with the Oracle last night. I was going to speak with the Oracle about my coronation, but I heard their conversation, what they said about you. I saw the fire in the Inquisitor's eyes, the blood spilling. The Oracle had called you ocean-born. The Inquisitor is... He wields the power of miracles of fire. You know this. He thinks you were sent by the enemy. He thinks the Chosen One should be fireborn like he is. He... Well, I, I don't really understand it in its entirety, but what I do know is if I went to the Aegis for help, then she and everyone else in the castle would have faced the wrath of the Inquisitor, including Mother. This way... It's just us. This way, everyone is safe from him. You understand, don't you? The prince slowly lifts his gaze to meet his brothers. Something about his voice, the way he's talking, he's never heard his brother sound so afraid. He can feel the Lydician pendant in his pocket. Look, says the brother, unbuckling his weapon. If you still don't trust me, that's okay. Take this. Wear it. Be the one to bear the blade. All right. The prince takes the sword from his brother. Sorry. The brother's stern visage is broken by a smile. Come on. We need to keep moving, he says. It won't be safe here for long. We need to... We need to get out of more of us, and... And then... And then... I'll figure out what to do next. We'll find allies, someone who can best the Inquisitor. The brother stands and offers a hand. The prince takes it. And they exit. My friends, let us follow them into the castle town of Moravos and help them find a way out. This way. What? Let's do our best, travelers. There's Wait, the where? This. Oh, there's the ball. Okay. Up, oh, coming. Okay, and okay. I quickly figure out where the fuck my backpack is. So I can take it the hell off. Oh. Out of the castle, right? Ah, oh, there's Geo. You. The Lord of Crates. Oh. Oh my. Oh boy, some spicy drama happening, right? Oh yeah. Brother and the prince <laughs> and it's not and the VR the check kind. Oh my goodness.
I really love this So story. much <laughs> spicy <laughs> drama. I wonder what happens next. Mm -hmm. Tune in after the sponsor. The, the sponsor. Then listen. Though the winds howl, the town is slowly waking up. Ignorant of what had transpired overnight. Rugs are shaken out of second story windows. Farmers set up stalls to sell cucumbers, carrots, and cabbage. Smiths stoke their furnaces while innkeeps sweep the past night's chaos out their front doors. The sun barely manages to break through the clouds. This way, the brother says suddenly, and he pulls the prince aside into some bushes. Not a minute later, a pair of zealots dressed in red approach a pair of city watchmen. Let it be known, says one of the zealots, that the prince isn't to be brought before the Varna church if they're to be found. They have committed treason of the highest order. Truly. The prince can't see the guards' faces, but he can hear the confusion in their voices. What do you speak of? The heir murdered the oracle and has taken his younger brother as an hostage. The inquisitor fears the heir is being compromised by the enemy. But the heir has faced Dacians on the battlefield. You mean to tell me he... Queen's orders, the zealot snaps. If they are found, the inquisitor must be notified at once. Failure to do so will result in being branded an enemy of the crown and of God. Very well. We shall spread the word. And the brothers are left alone again. Nobody can know who we are, the brother says. Don't say anything to anyone. Keep your hood up and don't let anyone see your belongings. The guards won't let us out of the gates before checking who we are, and we'll definitely be recognized. We need to get to... Hmm. All right, I have an idea. I know someone who could help us, but we need to get across town. The brother looks down the road. My friends, the brothers are about to cross Maravos, but they are going to need our help. Please listen carefully to the rules of your first major quest. In a moment, you will be asked to form groups of two, or if there are any left over, groups of three. Tonight's NPCs, Sheen and Mendizo, my fellow tour guides, Please change into your avatars. They will be playing city guards, the NPCs of this quest, and if they address you, you must interact with them. Very well. NPCs, make your way into the city and find a place where you cannot hear me. Oh. I'm saying you and Daddy. Very spooky you and Daddy, guards. Go. Very well, cities. my friends. The rules are as follows. You two are the pair. Those NPCs have the same goal. Okay. Oh, God. They like... must figure out which pair or trio among the travelers are the I'm princes. Stick with you for this one. They have prepared a okay. list of Pretty two open-ended open -ended open -ended. questions. Okay. And if they choose your group to question, you must answer them and give brief responses and you must tell the truth. No other conversation between you is allowed during this quest. I will now ask you all to form pairs. If you want to skip this quest, by the way, please 
Come and stand beside me. This is optional. Everyone else, please form pairs. You ain't skipping. We will be a trio, I think. I'm down. If not, then I say you two go go because I've done this already. Then go skip. Oh no 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 no! I'm not skipping. Then join us. I'm joining. I ask your attention. Is there anybody who has not formed a pair? Pika and PT, anyone else? I, have I guess I'll be with you, PT. Oh, yeah, yeah tailed. Oh, well, tailed in Pete. Anyone else who is not in a pair? Please quest. jump or say something. I have not gotten to a group. Okay. Ragnaros and Diamond, we turn into a pair. small avatar. Please, anyone else? Keep a leash Please on jump you or speak up. I try. Very well. My friends, I will now choose a pair to act as the princes. This pair that I choose will not tell the truth when questioned by the guards. Everyone else must tell the truth. The princes may attempt to avoid the guards, but this may make you appear suspicious. Your goal is to not be identified as the princes. The pair I will choose to play the princes tonight. Star Singer, MLP, and Lightful Wings, are you a pair? Yes, we are. Yeah. And you both speak? Yep. Mm -hmm. Very well. Fate has chosen you. You are the princes. You must lie to the guards when they ask you questions, but you must not get caught out in your lies. Everyone else, you may make no indication whatsoever as to who the princes are, and as stated, you can all only answer truthfully. I'm about to give you ten minutes, during which you run, wander the city. At the end of this time, you will hear the town bell. At which point, please come and find me. As stated before, if you wish to opt out of this quest, then please follow me directly to the end. Everyone else, your time begins now. Good luck, fellows. Yes. 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 When I turn your avatar on, you're in this I don't know. I am very tempted to check it out. Yeah, this is great. I get to walk around. I'm not gonna walk. <laughs> this canal is very canal. Why aren't you to walk? Y'all mile for a walk in the town. I say what? I'll walk my dog. There we go. I'm walking you through. Walking. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm the dog. Okay. What hidden talents do you have? Go down this alley. Hey kid, I want some drugs. Very specific fish and fish, if you ask me. And you. Not suspicious. Do you see our formation? There'll be a spot he'll be hanging out at. I mean, like, oh. <laughs> yo, uh, I, mean, I, <coughs> I have a feeling that the I'm a big fan of Halo 3. Have you heard of it? It was released in the year 2000 what? and hidden talents do you possess? I can hug myself. Quick learner. I can clap with one hand. I. 
In fact, I've discovered a function on my thing called the jump spur. Are they are they dead? I think they might be dead. Again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I got something, I got some I got something for this. Uh look they're dead. They're dead, they can't do anything. They can't do anything, therefore it's free game, just... Water. I don't understand it. Uh, hello, we were on our way to the market. On the market, you say? Yes. Alright, alright. Step aside here, come here. Got a few questions for you, phone. Uh, of course. Um, so first off, you know, um, what's your favorite genre of music? I'd like to know that. Uh, it varies, but personally, I prefer heavy metal, rock alternates, power metal is one of my top favorites. And you? Mm. Eh, I'm more, I'm more of an all-rounder. If I listen to music, huh? If I listen to music, I see it which one I like, and... and uh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, what about, uh, video games, then? What video games do you enjoy the most? I, hey, I made my uh, own. I, I have different, uh, surges of interest in no, different I mean, games, but, uh, made the coat recently myself. it's been more space-based, like Stellaris or Star Citizen. Not a cheap one, by the yeah. way. Don't get it unless you have a good computer. None of it's visible, anyway. I, I learned the hard way. Uh, yeah. Mm. And, uh, you? Oh yeah, we're also not safe here. Eh, I'm more of a casual person. I usually yeah. don't play some Minecraft to make a yeah. farm in usual. Oh, we can go literally anywhere you want. Alright, alright. You, uh, you both pass for now. That'd be really cool. But I'll keep an eye out. Mm, Alrighty. Oh, it's down here. Space. Uh, what? Okay, you can go to that one. Oh, make it interesting. Me? Look how it is right now. Pick a place. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we can climb up this thing. Oh, look at. I think we can. I'm ascending. 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 i I, I jump up on the bushes like the great I found, I found, I found. You there, task or and your group. A spoken trial approaches. Ages opted out. These people are me, are not in the quest. Very well. You were asking about McDonald's. Yes, hi, hello, yes. Yeah, yes. Stay back here, back in the corners, so that you don't get picked. Tell them the questions you asked me about McDonald's. Tell us of the Sir McDonald's. Oh, yes. This is a little over an average group size. Yeah, no, that's... Oh, see, I don't think McDonald's exists. Hold on, hold on. Screaming. Yeah, I'm not sure you're a You and your friends are being questioned. Go up there. You have questions to be answered. Oh, no. Go, go, go. I mean, I'm sure you're a bird. I'm pretty sure that food exists, but not in a way of people in that way. I'm doing so well. So I'm trying to get it. Exactly. I'm trying to get it. 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 I'm Bum bum, we can hear you from here. Okay, okay, she knows where I can get some only been to Canada. Oh, great, that's bad. Running in 10 weeks. I see. Okay, yeah, I know this like CPU. Yeah, no, okay, I know this. It has to be fried. It has to be put chopped up into small pieces. And they, 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 and Oh, I did nothing to the Queen. 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 I did nothing to the
Mm. Okay, all right, great, but I still have nothing to do with the Queen. I just want to play with the Queen. That's fucking time. Do you think it's been 10 minutes? I'm not sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure they've got some juice. I'll say that's time. Mumbo, we were here and you this whole time, bro. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh, that's... Oh, wait, oh, pardon me, my big shield. I can't... Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't... I can't... Wait, okay. Oh, that's... Okay, that was a church bell, right? That was a church bell. Is he gonna speak? Damn. You will. Ah. Oh the my god, you look adorable. Platypus oh, whoa. Platypus. <laughs> 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 I love it. Eat my foot. Eat it. Yum yum. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, and that was a great time. What? I've been, I've been stepped on. Oh no. Also, I profusely made that one. No homo. We were telling the truth. We are playing house cards. That one I, uh, I just wanted to think I'm with the Oh, no, hush. No, no, it looks like for It's not like I do it on my Is that adultery? Did I come out adultery? Yep, there it is. Wait, that depends. Oh, well, hey! Cube! Geo. What? Oh! What was that? What the hell was that? Don't you remember? I have an idea. My wife showed me the chase the same thing yesterday. Yes, I do remember yesterday. When I when I when I called and I made Atlas my bitch. Can you your shiny face? More like knights. Okay, I'll be here all anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, it's the Shiba Inu. I have to do something. I, I concur with this one. Stop. <laughs> Stop. 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 Who's the sussy monster? Did you just say apparently? Oh, okay. <laughs> I said currently. <laughs> oh, current. Okay. I'm like. You are. You said the government owns you. Sussy imposter. No, you're accusing us of being sus. I think you are sus. Look at your porn. My friends, your attention, please. No. My friends, oh, he again. your attention, please. Oh, Everyone? <laughs> the cube talks! No, no. <laughs> He's spamming the bell. I spammed nothing. Make sure everyone can hear me. I know this alley is a little cramped. I'll work on that. Now. Eh, it's for me to me. The quest has come to a close, and it is time for the NPCs to present their accusations. Spooky, spooky guards. Who do you think the princes were? There was suspicion with lightful wings and star singer. Yes, great suspicion. However, after discussion, we believe the princes are within Pack Lovers group. Wow. Very well. Interesting. Now, who is with Pack Lover? Luna and Pack. Luna and Pack. Reveal to the NPCs. Were you the princes tonight? We were not. No, just civilians. Just ordinary civilians. Hmm. 
out of curiosity. Star Singer and Lightfall, were you the princess tonight? Yes. Yep. Did you so hear that, close. NPCs? You should have gone with your gut. You were so close. My friends, this means that the NPCs did not guess correctly, but they were so very close. Yay! It was the story dangerously close. Continues. <laughs> dangerously close. I thought I got McDonald's for this one. <laughs> As he walks across more of us, the prince tries to shrink back into his cloak. His brother strides ahead, swift and confident. How does he do it? Every Moravian is looking at them, staring at them. Do they know? Do they know who they are? Suddenly he bumps into his brother as he comes to an abrupt stop on a bridge. He looks past him. A city watchman is talking to an elderly couple across the bridge. The guard's back is to them. The brother backs up and guides them another way round. The prince glances over at the old couple. He can see the old woman looking at him. She points the guard in the opposite direction. He offers her a smile. A short while later, the prince stops. What? What is that noise? Grinding, rumbling, a storm. No, not again. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. Amidst vague, towering structures, a blue bird flits, darting from corner to corner, desperate. For giving pursuit is a red feline, stalking calmly, yet appearing in places where it should not be. The bird is frantic, its movements urgent, panicked. It tries to stay silent, yet every beat of its wings betrays its location. And everything begins to redden. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options, four ways he can react to this vision. Descend, divulge well and distract. I will give you two minutes to discuss what he should do, and after this time expires, one of you will be called upon to give the best answer you have heard. Your time begins now. I think we should send this one. We should send this one. Whatever we distracted from the first thing. We're safe now. We're safe. We need to figure out what the fuck these visions are. I think we descend. We gotta just go to the sun, the chicken nuggets, the blue. The blue. Yes. We gotta figure the out what are you so into that? Are. No, I say, I say, we, I say, say we actually escape. With chicken nuggets. Hey guys, guys, I, I, say we say we say chicken nuggets. I say we escape because we're in the middle of the town. That's, that's, be, that's because which leaves us vulnerable. Oh, chicken nuggets. Yeah, hey, that's a good point. I don't appreciate it. We're just in there. Escape we should be mad. Like, I would just be struck with madness. Oh, no, no, no. This is like the second vision. This is only like, like the one and a half. I mean, if it makes us see you guys thinking escape because we're in the middle of town, which means we're vulnerable. But escape isn't an option. You're in the middle of town. 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 You're in Hmm. Um, yeah, um, we are yeah. descending I into the madness. I mean, the mysterious. So anything else might be better. Meaning that we'd uh, ignore the vision Just and focus on the getting out of here. Escaping. Yeah, but yeah, we gotta yeah, figure exactly. out where the fuck these visions are coming from. But we from. should learn but, more. But Panda, that would make uh, sense. Uh, I'm trying to descend if into if the madness. If you wanna play safe, well, then maybe. Hey guys, what I was thinking earlier, earlier. Hey guys, guys, earlier. Hey, Panda. Yeah, this kid is gonna. 
side, though. We don't know. Are you sure? We don't Friends know who are. Uh, travelers, division pr previously. your time to discuss has expired. <laughs> Star Singer, you keep raising your hand. Do you have a question? Uh, sorry. I was just there uh, giving a sign that um, when the cube is actually talking, it's time to get be quiet. Sorry about that. I am quiet, did you say? No, no. Uh, no, I just, uh, I just make a signal for everybody to be quiet they... so you can speak. I see. Very well, that explains Trying to help you shut up everyone else. I appoint Thank Kitty you. to give the answer! <laughs> you can't. Again, Only he can Chica, about that, everyone. the decision is it's mine. Right. And I am going to pick. <clears throat> Axe, the iron, and the rest of your name is in the wall. Do you speak? The Iron Knight. Uh, yes, I do. Outfitting. So, descend, divulge, dwell, distract. I was originally thinking something else, but because a lot of people were saying descend, I'm going to go with descend. Ooh. Descend. For science. Very well. This is what happens. The prince dives deeper into the vision. He remains among the strange structures. The red intensifies, and with it comes an unnatural warmth. It glows. It rises. It burns. It burns. It burns! Well. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, jeez. No. Hey, Interesting. hey, are you alright? His brother is holding the prince's shoulders firmly. More visions. You know, you shouldn't let them get to you so much. You need your strength. We're almost... The brother suddenly yanks the prince down behind a stone fence. I saw him. The brother's face is white. The Inquisitor. He's here. He didn't see us, I think. He's gone. This way. I know someone who might be able to help us. The brother takes the prince to a nearby house, checks the street, and then knocks on the door. Moments later, the door creaks ajar, and an elderly man peers out. He says but one word. You. And he glances beyond them, his expression grave. The prince shrinks back. How bold of you to show up at my doorstep. His mouth twists and he sniffs once. I had a feeling you might appear, he says. Then the wrinkles on his face deepen as he smiles. He opens the door wide and invites them in, checking outside before closing the door behind him. My friends, let's follow them inside. Ooh. I saw he did not expect that to actually do that. I'm trying to be careful. I'm worried about no you one fucking... Knows. <laughs> no one knows. That's the first space. time someone chose it. I just want to be crazy. Maybe up here. This is my spot. Watch me leave. But I'll go move for you. Mm -mm. Ooh. Doink. Hey. I'm resting here. 
Jake, why are you in smiles? Old paintings sit crooked on the walls, <laughs> and cobwebs collect dust in the corners. What are you the doing? home is sturdy You're good. and cold, kept at bay, hey. and the prince feels a little more at ease. But the old man makes his way to his stall with the help of his cane. The prince notices a glimmering sword displayed on the mantel above the fireplace. Come, the old man says, holding up a jug. You must be thirsty. The brother accepts a cup. This is wine, he says. Of course, it'll ease your troubles. Go on. The brother takes a sip, as does the prince. It tastes bad. It bites at his tongue, but there's a hint of fruit. The old man drinks straight from the jug. So, he says, I suppose you're here to tell me the full story. You've heard from the zealots, then, asks the brother. You think a retired veteran like me gets all his information from a single source? I've heard them say that you murdered the oracle and fought your way out of the castle. You even attacked the Silver Aegis. But that's not true, is it? Actually... The brother looks down into his wine. The oracle is dead. But it wasn't me or my brother. And I did attack the Aegis. I had to. The veteran has another swig of wine. Swills it and regards the brother with a long look. Mm-hmm. Well... You do know what's going to happen next, don't you? Once word gets out that both royal heirs are missing, traitors or no, Dacia is going to advance again. They're cunning. They'll take advantage of this predicament, just like they did at Lakefort, where this all started. I'll wager it won't be long before they take Felden. That place has been a pit since the Baron was killed. What, a decade ago? And I hear they've already started infiltrating those old walls. Dacia. Lakeford. The brother's knuckles go white. But we can't go back to the castle. The Inquisitor is too powerful. He's gone mad. So... So you want me to face him? Ha! Ah. Young sire, I may have been the best swordsman in Lazarus in my day, but with all due respect, that is madness. You haven't read the Crimson Vanguard? That man is capable of terrifying things. Then, the brother glances at the prince for a moment. What do we do? He can help us. Who else is there? The smile gently leaves the veteran's face. Best I can do, young sires, is get you out of the walls. He gets up using his cane, making his way back across the dusty stone floor. Back during your grandfather's reign, we had tunnels built beneath Moravos. Most were narrow and used for emergencies, but some were large enough that there were houses down there cut into the stone. Given that you're here, it seems you used one to escape. But there are many more. I'm likely the last one alive who knows where every entrance can be found. And, of course, what sort of tactician would I be without my own personal escape? Help me move this, would you? The brothers assist, and behind a wooden cabinet is an old door. This leads to the underworks, the veteran says. There may be others down there looking for you, but it's dark. You should be able to leave. Just cross the cistern and you'll come out near the eastern road. My thanks. The brother opens the door and guides the prince in before him. And I'm sorry. Sorry? Nonsense. It'll take much more than a strike from you to slow her down. 
I don't mean for her. The brother grabs the cane from the veteran and strikes him across the legs with it. The old man cries out and topples backward, and the brother pulls the cabinet back in place behind them. My friends, this way. Damn, that brother has trust issues. <laughs> I know Wait, those saints what? respect your elders, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> I was like, no, right? <laughs> are we escaping? Are we uh, crying? What's going on? Okay, so man, clearly we're sure? uh, see what's going on I'm is that we're clearly so crime lords right now. Okay, so what the it, fuck it's is Dika. happening? Absolutely. Clearly hey, what's Pika's. going on is that we're running away because they found out about the drug cartel ending. that we're running. Hey Pika. What's going on? <laughs> we, what you say? Hey, well, we want to make sure that he's not associated with helping us. This is what happens next. <laughs> the air down here is musty, stifling. Somewhere in the distance, water trickles and dribbles. Rodan starts along the remnants of what look to be underground buildings. What is this place? Why is there a city beneath the city? Faint patches of light leaking through from somewhere above reveal a path ahead. I'm sorry you had to see that, the brother says. The prince can't make out his face in the low light. The Inquisitor has to think that we forced our way in. I had just... But the brother doesn't finish. He begins to walk. My friends, this way. So why is there I don't know about here? this, Chief. Man. Uh. Oh. <laughs> this is not um, good for my frames. At all. Did he just say Man, imagine having frames cringe. What do we do if we suck? Ladder! Next Thank time. you, sir. Yeah. Finding this out. Go through. Short go through. time because I'm too because I'm too fucking like you for this shit. Go through, please. Go through the door. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> is it chapter three? If you take too long, Based. you'll be left behind. Go I've tried. Oh shit. If you struggle too much, uh, use the fast travel to chapter three. Okay. Yes, it is. Yes, I mean, yes, 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 we have a designated break for you. Have a snack, rehydrate, and use the restrooms if you must. Please be oh, back yes. here within four minutes for yes, the story please. to continue. Oh, Why do I play some music? Okay. 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 Watch me collapse on <laughs> Guys, everyone, watch me collapse on the floor. I'm being hilarious. Ready? The invisible wall. I hate some crap. I was going to use a little bit of 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 Boop. Okay. You know, it all screw it. Are we gonna make Pika stew? Oh wait, never mind. Well, I mean, yeah, it, I mean, it's there, just you might not meat. be there. It's just you might be AFK. I mean, it's still rather <laughs> fresh, <laughs> so you know. He may be oh. in the bathroom <laughs> dimension. Yeah. All right. So we're uh, I'm also going how to good is that bathroom ten. dimension actually? Okay. Uh, there. Uh, there we go. How bold is that? It had a quick bus to report on the previous map. There's not enough space for that thing. Give me a second. Sure, there, what is there's it? There's a few. Hold on, uh, who, wants, the door? who wants to be inside of a tent? Uh, is, can be clipped through. I think these guys. An invisible wall glitch. Okay, these guys. Uh, this these guys want to be inside this of a tent. Help there you go. No, uh, I meant the, I meant the one by the I meant the one by the trees. You can you can 
physically okay, all right. out and then get behind the invisible wall. It is time. I'm very tempted to just. What's that? Wait. To note that. But yeah, the door in the previous one. Okay, I'm very tempted. Mind if I play intermission by? Mind if I play intermission from Mega Man Zero? This is valuable information. Thank you. Yep. Hey, Ren. It, there, there's nothing like a. Gonna find the 30 plus break, people who old grill it. test your app. I have an idea. I have an idea of the past time. We punch that tree to see if it can actually defy gravity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we camp and we camp. They made him big, why they do that? <laughs> ah, the tree really punching like ritual. I, I guess the polygonal mind changed the really really close to it. Because it's the exact avatar, I had it saved. You fools! Example. No. No. There is no avatar. I guess I'll just upload it myself and then shrink it Fucking. I think it will have to. Water, it's my brain. Oh shit. It's not a I got the perfect thing to cut trees. I almost shat my splash. There you go. Wait, 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 I'm, man, I'm just trying to enjoy some uh, fucking, back. trying to enjoy some water and uh, sun chips next to this fire inside this uh, fire hazard of a tent. Is it all okay, big guy? Don't worry, this, this, may, this may not cause there that There come back in the VR. There we go. Mm. Nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can... Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to be back. No, I stopped sorry, recording. I nope. <laughs> Very much annoying you can do. That one for this. Oh, there, uh, we God. there we go. Okay, now I got my drinks. These sun chips? I apologize. <laughs> I did be defied that. Uh, I got Twinkies. Original. That's probably. But I guess we'll just fix it now. Snapple going out of bounds. You might oh, like... I guess Twinks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like to be careful about that. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Gorilla testing, ladies and gentlemen. Are you busting? Yep. One story telling to ponies. To get back. I'm busting. What are you eating? We'll continue the story. Did I come back? <laughs> and you broke something? What did you do? <laughs> oh, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can climb up the invisible walls and get behind them. There's one thing. There's one thing that broke, and it's not the game map. It's just. Uh, sorry, sorry, we just transformed yeah, me, Gabba. Them. People who just come inside yeah, this chest and fucking so scared scare the shit out of me. You're good. <laughs> Like they're like a surprise. Oh, over us for you now. Yeah, it's over. It's oh, over so my yeah. head and it's over this campfire. It's like a fire hazard. Oh, <laughs> I see the tent over there. there. The, it's the, over the there. Campfire's right here. From bonfire lit. Campfire's right here. It's like what? Yeah, camp, campfire. Campfire's near where my toes are at. <laughs> and then the tent's on top of the top of us. And the travelers. I see the tent over there. It is time for the story to continue. Oh, break time is over. Okay, and good, hopefully good, good. people okay. are back. Get back in. Get if you're back coming in, back, okay. please kindly do so quietly. Good. For the story continues. It's after sundown by the time the brothers emerge. The underworks tunnel had led them to an old mill, and from there they followed trails until coming upon the eastern road. Moropos looms in the distance. Gently glowing in the moonlight as the prince slumps to the ground. His legs and feet ache, his stomach growls. He's tired and sore and short on breath. His brother is just checking through a bag he's carrying. How does he do it? How does he just keep going? Can't we go back? The prince bites his lip. He didn't mean to say that aloud. Go back. The brother lifts his head. An owl hoots nearby. Go back and what? Face the fireborn? He'll kill you. And then he'll lock me away or kill me as well. He'll tell everyone that the oracle chose him and nobody could disagree. The Varna church will change forever. Mother will be powerless to stop him. And then Daisha will invade. The people will have to live under the rule of one of two monsters. We're not going back. Not until I find a way to stop the Inquisitor. And while I search, I'm going to stop the Dacians. We'll go to Felden and warn them. Help defend the town. I'll kill every Dacian if I have to. We can still make a difference. 
I won't have another lake fort. Do you hear me? Will he still stop? Please. Stop. You're scaring me. Please. Sorry. I'm sorry. I just... It's just you and me. There's nobody else who can save us. The prince says nothing. What can he say? Listen, his brother squats before him. I'm scaring him. I see that. I don't like to see you so afraid, but I'm doing what must be done. I'm... Do you remember when we were younger? We found that nest in the old tower. We spotted the mother, a blue wing, coming back to feed her chicks that evening. We named them, too. Dusty, Scylla, and... Pickle? <laughs> yes, little Pickle. Ah. <sighs> And then the cat found the nest. The mother bird fought fiercely, but... You asked me why that happened. Do you remember what I said to you? Ivana is kind. Life is cruel. That's right. Right now, two little birds have to leave the nest. The cat is after them. If the birds aren't in the nest, then the mother can fly to safety, and the cat can't reach her. But the cat is sly. It's going to try and trick the other animals into helping it. So the little birds might have to do some things that seem bad, so that they don't get eaten. They have to... Well... Learn to fly, perhaps. Or find another cat who will help them. The prince nods slowly. He can see how hard it is for his brother. He doesn't want to do the things he's doing, but he must. They need to survive. He wants to reach out for his brother to hug him, but he can't bring himself to move. We can go through the Duke's world, the brother says, standing. It might be dangerous but it's the fastest way to Felden. Do you still have my... He stops and looks down. The prince is holding him tight. <laughs> hey, it's all right. Look, when this is over, we will sail to Laodicea, the sacred lands. We will go together, just you and me. Would you like that? The prince wipes his face. Ludicia? Really? Do you swear? The brother smiles and the world gets a little brighter. I swear. My friends, the brothers have a perilous task ahead. They must cross the Duke's world in the dark of night. They're going to need your help. Please, follow me this way. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh, while we're having an emotional moment, Ragnaros is oh, dancing no. in the corner. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. We ignored the distinguished of oh. skeleton dancing. We let him do what he does. Dance party, oh, always. Oh, oh hey, oh, now we're cramped. Are we on the ship? Wait, are we on the ship yet? Wait, we're on the magical tree house. Do you take constructive criticism? Wait, where's the ship? I thought we were gonna go right here. Oh, fantastic. Uh, no, 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 that's the story. That's for when that's for when that's for when that's, that's for when it ends. Wait, who else just? We'll be on a ship by the end of the story. Don't you worry. Hopefully. 
He'll be back in a second. Oh, back shit. Oh, no, by, by the end of tonight, Shut definitely. Horns. Friends and travelers, your attention, please. Like lemmings. We have another major quest for you ahead. NPCs. Vendizer. And... Sheen. Ah, oh, right there. Please <laughs> change into your avatars for the next area. Now. Henshin. Abracapoof. Oh. Nearly. You nearly got it. Gaboom. There we go. Oh. Oh my god! For now, only the NPCs will be proceeding into the next map. Everyone else, please stay here to listen to the rules. NPC, you can go through. Spinning raptor. I know, right? That is also a I don't remember. I don't remember Rap she becoming a car. Go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah. That's why his name's G. I thought we were He's decided to machine. order that thing which caused him to speed machine. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, what up? The speed machine. Come on. It was funny. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Rap boy. <laughs> I don't want to say it, but I think we may have to keep our guard up around him. My friends, the Duke's world at night is not a safe haven, but it does bear resources that they may need on their journey. The rules for your quest are as follows. Navigate your way through the Duke's world, which, according to legend, is haunted. Collect as many resources as you can. Each traveler has five bundles of wood and five clusters of berries to find. Avoid the Duke's Wild Phantom. Its terror will render you immobile for several seconds, costing you your valuable time. The Phantom has the ability to teleport to any Phantom fire at any point in time. So stay alert. You are being observed. Please avoid using avatars that are really tiny or really large. Or invisible, of course. Once you have completed your mission, you can make your way to the end where I'll be waiting, or you could stay behind to act as a distraction for the Phantom. Please do not use teleportation shortcuts while this quest is occurring. After a five minute timer expires, all the resources will disappear, and you will be guided to the end. Now, for those who went on the private launch yesterday, you may have noticed that there was a bug. The resources did not launch or spawn. That should be working now, but with all the recent updates, many things have broken, so there may still be bugs. Your patience is appreciated. Now, give me a minute to click a million buttons to my left. <laughs> <laughs> Got a fourth wall breaking right there. Oh Please my god. <laughs> I mean, we and have a fourth wall Fourth wall breaking does help with uh, lightening the mood. I scared out. Especially because we're going to technically a Halloween section. I wish death food was here for this. I fucking love it. I've never been so immersed in my life. I'm so invested. It's crazy. My friends, your time starts now. Go. Right. Go, 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 let's go! go. Wait, wait, do we jump off? You actually saw something? Oh. Hmm. Nope. I think it's still broken. Uh, 
I see you. Oh, I heard someone say they found it. Let me up. Who is that? That is Wood. Can you point me in the direction? I think it's still bug. I'm looking for wood that's nice and long and thick. Ah, it whips. Uh. Anything? No. No way. Yeah. That was not the scariest thing for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slow. Damn it! Time to follow the cube. <laughs> it's fun how it actually slows you down. Exit is somewhere up in the air. I just saw some bitch. What happened to the dungeon? Some oh, dungeon. Oh, dungeon. Oh, dungeon. Oh, no. Oh, oh. There was oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I get it. They implemented the freeze tag thing. What's in the oh. bramble spray? Oh, God. <laughs> you Someone guys take are off. Slow. You guys are slow. Where's the bramble? Okay. You're too slow. There's like an exit. Oh. And there's like some brambly spray, and you click on it, and it's just out of the maze. And it's super gotcha. fun. Civilization no longer. It's oh, like is it civilization from whence I around. came no longer <laughs> exists. Like, it looks like you started the maze and you walk around. This is what oh, we test. Oh, that's exciting. We talk. Oh. Oh god, you're Yeah, can I use myself as the resource? <laughs> I, I found the twigs, they're in me. <laughs> you must link the first um, flame. I mean, okay. I've got... I've I'll got a campfire the, here, so flame. it's fine. Okay. Okay, alright. Okay, okay, nice. Ah, so we're having oh, some yeah. iTunes right. 64 G for dinner. I'll eat you all the fun. <laughs> for real. Alright. Uh, nah, he's, uh, he's not... Panda, he, we aren't get teaching your stirring the bamboo out. He's the firewood. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. There was no sticks. You're stirring so bamboo out. Stick. Stick. Ready? We got some right, stirring glue. Stop! Stop! Stop screaming! Don't worry, I'll muffle him. Right. Right. You've got about a hundred thousand more years of this. We might as well get used to it. What a big fight! Nice. Fire. Yorm didn't scream like a bitch. We gotta make sure that uh, timer painter works oh, on the PR. So who should put up iTunes home? A this was a worthy like, sacrifice. Like, that way no one ate each but, other. Yeah. 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 No, 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 get back down. No, back down. Honestly, back as in much as there. No. I saw it in desktop because I'm in desktop now. No yeah. more screaming. So no. iTunes, this is a noble sacrifice. Come on, you want to be remembered as a hero? The first flame, the first flame is just a sham so Gwyn can make more soup. Uh, oh, no, no, no more soup. He's responding no more how, fucking uh, soup. excited he is to being a heroic Hello. sacrifice. No more fucking well, soup. There's oh, some falling on my house. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's all we can bring on these tours. 
Oh. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> oh. God, I got so lost. Oh my god. You know, I had no idea where I, where the fuck I was. Uh, the yeah, first one I'd say it's yeah, uh, it's it's a little little chilly. little brother, the little brother, the oh, prince. Oh, prince. I think it symbolizes that there's something. I went. Something I followed the, the blue prince, balls so. back to the castle. I think my so, friends, yeah. your attention, please. <laughs> oh. The quest is over. I have been told that resources did not spawn once more, and I confirmed that myself. However, it worked when we tested it twice before launch. So. Something is wrong. In the meantime, I hope you had fun getting destroyed by the tour guides. I know, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that was fun. You I'll collected an average of zero resources each. Sucks to be you. <laughs> the story continues. <laughs> now, wait. Me, I've talked before. <laughs> Bruh. I only thought that my the place where the resource was. So, so my body. Pet the cutie. I use my body as fuel. And it was I volunteer myself as food. Eat me. My friends, the story continues. The brothers come to a clearing. A steep river cuts through the middle of it. Nearby, moss covered bricks sit indifferent as the forest slowly consumes them. The boys drink and refill their flasks and wash their faces. The prince captures a glimpse of himself in the glittering water. He barely recognizes the face. He looks unkempt, disheveled, common. We can rest here tonight, the brother says, gathering some sticks together. The prince watches as his brother soon has a small fire burning. He lies down beside it as the brother sits against an old piece of masonry. The prince stares at the fire. The flames stare back. His face is warm, but his back is cold. How does he do it? The prince thinks to himself. How does he keep going like this? I just want to hide. He's good at everything. I'm not good at anything. I'm useless. The past few days to catch up to him. And within minutes, he slips into a deep <coughs> sleep. Come on, wake up. The prince is shaken awake. The sky is a soft blue-gray and the brothers crouched over him, looking elsewhere. There are voices. The prince rubs his eyes and turns to look. Across the river are soldiers in black, carrying spears and swords with foreign emblems on their shields. They're pushing a cart out of the clearing. Dacians, the brother whispers gritting his teeth. Either they're preparing to besiege Felden or they've already taken it. Hmm. Maybe I can find their camp, find their general, and... He looks down at the prince, his expression softening. Let's get a closer look. We need to know what they're up to. They gather their things and scoop dirt over the charcoal and carefully make their way across the river to the other side of the clearings. My friends, Dacians, are dangerously close. This way. Oh, boy. Up we go, up we go. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Wait. Okay. Oh, ow, oh. ow. Zoom. <laughs> Did it? Didn't fall off? Bah, zoom. Would you like to continue? Uh, boop. Oh boy. Boop.
What are these two boys gonna do? <laughs> are they gonna oh, find the power of friendship? The brothers Something hide like that. in the undergrowth. The outer walls of Felden loom over the trees, scarred by past battles defaced by nature. There's a large gathering of Dacian soldiers just outside the small gate. They're taking supplies inside. So Felden has already been taken by Dacia. Maybe they were already here. They didn't need any distractions. There are too many of them, brother whispers. But maybe... The brother creeps forward a couple of steps, lifting himself a little higher. The prince's heart jumps. Is he just going to run in and fight them? How are they not seeing him right now? When the gate is clear, run inside and hide in the town. I'll find you. What? I'm going to draw them away. Are you ready? I... I think so. The brother turns back to the Dacians. There are at least seven of them left after the rest went inside with a handcart. The brother scoops up a fist-sized rock into one hand and waits. And without warning, the brother jumps to his feet and breaks into a sprint. He ditches the rock at a soldier and it strikes him square in the helmet. There's a cry, then yelling, and they call him names the prince has never heard before. The brother runs to the left, diving back between the trees, moving parallel to Felden's outer wall. Five soldiers give chase. Two remain. They seem hesitant to follow. They both draw their swords, staring in the direction everyone went. Oh, wait. His brother's sword. He might need it. But it's too late. The prince unsheathes it, just in case. Even in the dull light of dawn, its golden gilding glints. Who's there? The prince looks up. Two soldiers are coming this way. He must have made some noise. He freezes and holds his breath. His blood begins to drain from the top of his body. His legs go numb. No, lose interest. Turn around. Go away. Leave me alone. Please, leave me alone. Hey, there's somebody in the trees. No, the prince scrambles into a sprint away from them. He hears Dacians yelling after him, thudding through the underbrush. Go away, stop following me. Around a tree, under a log, over a rock, through tall grass. Are they getting closer or further? He can't tell, he can't stop. He keeps running and slips suddenly on muddy ground and then ground vanishes. The forest rises up, careening overhead as he topples into ice-cold waters. My friends, please follow me. We proceed. Where is he? I need to know. <clears throat> See the river? Where's? Eh? Oh no! Oh shit! Wait! Oh no! Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's dead. There's a ramp over there. Run faster! Uh, no! Uh, 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 throw it. Okay, where do I go? <laughs> this way. Oh. Where's the cube? There's the cube. Where are they? Where did they go? Tell <laughs> us, cube! If there's a pause, that's because we're waiting for the rest of the group to catch up. The story continues. I got my butt puckering on the edge of my seat. Chapter 4. <laughs> The prince comes to. Something is pulling on his leg. 
He opens his eyes to see a mangy dog trying to drag him away by the ankle. He panics and kicks at it, and, not expecting retaliation, it darts away with a yelp. The prince takes in his surroundings. He's inside a town right by the water's edge, utterly soaked. He shivers and sits up. Everything hurts. He looks up, up at the town's structure, and... Wait. The sword. Where is his brother's sword? He looks left and right and into the water. It's not here. He gets to his feet. And with nowhere else to go, heads into the town of Felden. The prince hears a commotion ahead. There's a line of people with wooden bowls outside a door. He can see Dacian soldiers inside, giving out the same amount of food to each person. Next in line is an old lady who can barely place one foot before the other. Please, kind sirs, if I may, I would like a little more than usual. My dear canine friend, his name is Riot. He's going hungry. He's all skin and bones. Please, sirs. Hey, that's not fair, says a townsman right behind her. Why does she get more? Peace, orders the soldier. He regards the old woman carefully. Fine, have extra. But just this once. Oh, bless you. Van, how bless you. And here, the soldier adds, offering a wooden stick. Seems like you're having trouble walking. The elderly woman is overcome. The prince turns away, wanting to distance himself from the scene. These are just normal people, he says to himself quietly. They didn't do anything wrong. As he hurries away, he bumps into a group of strangers. He mutters an apology and tries to move around them, but they block his exit. He peers up at them carefully. Those faces. Well, look who we have here. Zealots. The prince feels panic bubble up inside him. He wants to shout for help. There are so many people about, it would turn into a fight. There's no guarantee the Dacians would help. No. The Dacians are invading. Innocents will get hurt. Perhaps he could run. No, there are too many of them. Come now, lad. No more running. My friends, the prince has no choice. This way. Are we gonna battle? Oh, I want to do collector battle. Let's go. <laughs> For glory. What's going on with the prince? Oh, this one. Wait, Where's we go down the here? Uh, warning for light, flashing light, epilepsy warning coming up, I yeah, think. Mild epilepsy, mild epilepsy warning. Oh, uh, yeah. Mild epilepsy warning. I'll let you know when it's coming up. I want to see what a group battle looks like. Your face. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. See, I yes. want to see the I want to see the new mechanic of the story. I'm so invested in and excited. What are we gonna do, my friends? <laughs> your excitement is our fuel, and the story continues. 
the zealots lead the prince down some old rock-hewn steps and through another door, and the passage opens up to a large and dark room. Carved niches hold sickly candles, and many figures in red stand near the corners, watching silently. Fireborn, says the zealot, we have the prince. A shadow that the prince didn't see until just now slowly turns. It's a titan of a man with a broad chest and square shoulders draped in dark crimson. His face is like that of a statue, chiseled, weathered and fierce. The prince lowers his gaze. Ah, the young prince, how I have searched for you. Tell me, where is your brother? Where is the heir? The prince can't bring himself to lift his head. Every breath trembles with effort. We found him alone, Fireborn. We think the shadow spotted by the west gate was the heir. He hasn't been seen since. Yeah, it matters not. It is you I want, Oceanborn. Yes, your brother told you, did he not? I assume he saw the whole thing. Else, why would he flee with you the way he did? The Inquisitor approaches the shadow of his shadow creeping closer. Listen to me very carefully. If your brother told you I want you dead, he was lying to you. What use would you be to me then? Indeed, I am the one chosen by God. I am the fireborn wielder of the infernal miracles. And you, you and I share a goal. I have no desire to take the lives of any of your family members unless they leave me no choice. No. The death I seek is that of Daisha. And you do too, do you not? What would your brother say were he here? He fought against Daisha. They tried to invade us for decades now. Why, evil Dacian spirits destroyed Lakefort and started the whole war, didn't they? Didn't they? You see it, don't you? You didn't just have a vision. No, you summoned a great power. You made the earth open its moor. You destroyed Lakefort. The war started because of you. Don't you see? You and I are so alike. We both wield miracles. The only difference, my prince, is that you have no idea how to harness yours. And that is no fault of your own. That is where I come in. As one chosen by God, it has been revealed to me through divine wisdom that you are my enemy. But it doesn't have to be that way. I know how to help you. The Church of Varnum has a place for you. A Lazarus has a place for you. I have a gift. <laughs> a crown. Your crown. Not that of a king, but that of a mighty wielder of miracles. Accept this gift, sire. Release your potential. Place it upon your head. Feel the crown beckoning. The prince stares at the circle it offered to him. Two parallel bands with a dull shine. 
but otherwise featureless. Lakeford, his brother, Dacia, the prince watches as the circlet glows with a lure. The war with Dacia is his fault. The Inquisitor is right. He must be right. He must be. Do I want to wear a crown? Do I want to wear a crown? No. Do I? No, no. you don't. No. 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 The prince accepts no. what is offered to him. The moment he makes contact, heat passes through him, rippling, coursing, leaving numbness in its wake. He raises it up and places it upon his head. The Inquisitor smiles and everything is changed forever. He sees the storm again, but this vision is not like the others. The waves churn, the wind cuts, the thunder rolls, the storm is real, it is here, it is hellfire. Flames roar outward, fling the underground space in an instant. All is red, then white, then blinding, searing. The prince screams and the fire roars back. And then... Darkness returns, and in the darkness, embers glow. Cooked stone, scorched corpses, everything choked with soot and ash. The prince gets up and looks for the Inquisitor. Is he dead? Did that fire take his life? But rising up with him is a great shadow. Though the zealots were reduced to ashes, another stands, towering, indomitable, fire-born. My prince. As the Inquisitor speaks, cinders fall from his mouth. We have much work to do. Come with me. We gonna die. Holy shit. Where well, was that for a... Are you sure <laughs> we are going to die? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh! Nice, sir. Nice, nice, sir. Oh, this looks so much better. My oh, oh, no. Hey guys, let's all stand on the bridge. Oh, hey, hey. I want to get a picture. Oh, Yo, get your the the same. Get out of here. Wait, wait, hand. Drink if you got him. Well, it didn't break him. It didn't break him. It didn't break him. It's a weird issue. Drink, drink if you got him. It's my friends, your attention, please. Drink if you got him. We are getting close now to the end, and the story continues. <sighs> the Prince and the Inquisitor stand on an old bridge atop a hill. In the valley below lies Felden, painted orange and blue in the light of the setting sun. The sky is clear. Oh. Is quiet. Do 
you know why I brought you here? The Inquisitor sounds distracted, distant. The Prince does not know. He's losing track of his own thoughts. He's losing track of reason, of time. He thinks the other zealots are dead, but he isn't sure. There was fire, lots of fire, and his mind aches. Something blocks his attempts. Something else is in there, in his mind. The Dustborn was right. You are the chosen one, granted influence upon this world like no other. Chosen by an enemy of the church, an enemy of God, the very God who chose me and bestowed upon me the miracle of fire. We are both chosen. Hmm. We are not so different. A task has been revealed to me. Felden has become infested with Dacians. But even before then, Felden deserved this judgment. The Inquisitor looks down at his own hands. He looks at them for a long while, his expression wavering somewhere between sadness and spite. Then he lifts his gaze up, up toward the heavens. The Prince looks up with him at the vast, deep, empty sky. Valsmith, Halburn, Oradeo, Medias, Felden. May the heavens come down upon them, and may they be reduced to ashes. Oh no, the apocalypse! Oh, no. And so a third of the world dun, 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 was cast into the lake. A third of the Wait. world, and a third of the animals in the dun, sea were killed. Dun, dun, dun. I just wanted some good vibes, bro. Your silence, Wait. please. The story must continue. An image rises up oh. from the depths, rushing to meet him. From up high. A massive expanse of land stretches out below him. Rivers are ribbons of silver, mounds, mounds of soil and stones, towns and cities, smudges of beige and grey, and the sea, a distant shimmer. Entire kingdoms fit within his grasp. He reaches out and begins to close his and around the land. A face appears before a flickering candle. Eyes closed. Peaceful. Beautiful. Delicate. Porcelain white. He watches her sleep. He watches her. My friends, you have a choice to make. In response to this vision, the prince has four options. Destroy, 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 destroy. You have two minutes to discuss the best option, and your time begins now. Destroy. 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 destroy.
Yeah. 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 Hey like guys, I know the puzzle, uh, alright? Because it's destroy. 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 Just destroy as a verb, and then just destroy as a verb. And then just destroy as a verb. You're not wrong about the white glow anyway. You're not wrong about the white glow because I do see white, but it's not blinding silhouette white. I can still see the detail of your eyes. It's a nice glow. Yeah, destroy. So I think Brendan is the one who's going all British in a white sort of fashion. I like that destroy one. Too. Destroy, destroy. Oh, destroy. Really destroy. Nice. destroy. 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 Yo, okay, wait. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't think destroy sounds like a better option. Or destroy. Or destroy. Or destroy. Or destroy. My friends, your attention. I like destroy better than destroy. Oh, yeah. My yeah. friends. Yeah. Your attention, please. Fucking <laughs> wait. Your time to discuss is over. Eh, yeah, just shouldn't. Yeah, they're just fine. matches them. The one who will be asked. How can I not respond to this contagious passion? Pika Piti, the choice is yours. Yo, we choose destroy. <laughs> destroy <laughs> an interesting destroy. choice. Yes. Destroy. My friends, for the story to continue, I ask your continued silence. You have only one job. The prince nods. Yes. Destruction is the right choice. I'm sorry, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! Oh it no. still seems apocalyptic. I don't know. My friends, oh, no. please turn to face the town and remain quiet. Yes. Don't walk out. That's pretty. Oh, stars! Oh no. Those aren't stars. I don't know, these stars should fall out there. Shh! <laughs> Wait! Is it destroying the town? No! Yep. The kingdom now. What? Oh. Oh no. No. Done. What have we done? Oh no, there's fire! Explosions! Why did we escaped! <laughs> we escaped, but at what yeah, cost? Get yeah, get the our kingdom, our heritage, yeah. <laughs> his, his our privilege is, is all gone! Falling, it's a running gag. What about our privilege? No! You're supposed to be heroes. 
The travelers are supposed to save people! <laughs> Huh? Oh no! Wait! The, the moon is crashing? Oh no. <laughs> Wait! Meteor! Did I cause the moon to fall? Oh no! Oh! It's one of the sun stars. It's one oh, of the sun stars. Oh no! What's going on? <laughs> Blood ridden moon strikes again. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh no. Oh. 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 It's. Oh. It's. Oh. Here comes the sunshine. Oh. Here comes Super ah. HDR. <laughs> it's bright. It's really bright. What's going on? I know my name is Lightful, but this is too much light. Oh. <laughs> Just oh, light God. Yours. Okay, where am I now? Oh. My friends. Gather around. Oh. The story. What happened? Concludes. We destroyed. No. 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 I didn't want this. I didn't want this. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes. And brother wanted it as well. Divine justice for what they did to you. Get out of my head, please. They deserve this. This is divine judgment. Delivered by you. Your vision, your will. Please. How do I make it stop? Give up. Let go. Give this miracle to me. You won't use it. You're a failure. A waste of breath. A waste of everybody's time. The kingdom doesn't need you. Your family doesn't need you. Your brother doesn't need you. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. Everyone would be better off without you. Not even I want you. Let me go. <laughs> You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Stop. Brother. Brother. Brother is here. With me. Brother is here with me. We're traveling. We're going to the sacred land of Lydicia together. And mother is here. And father. We're all here. We're all together. to the neutral ending of the prince. Oh, that, was, that was the neutral ending? I thought that was a bad ending. Oh, you yeah, fucking savage for the neutral ending. Okay, yeah, that was a bad ending. Yo, that was
was so like, intense! This, like, oh my god! I've never experienced anything like that before! Are you sure? Wow, I love that. Guilt. I will face you back. Into the care of Sheen, the main tour guide, Sorry. in just a moment. But first, to commemorate this event, I suggest we take a group photo here on whatever this is below us. It oh, yes, familiar. please. Hello. This is the talk about the summoning photos. spiral. Who can this is the talk about the take photos for us. I, I can take it. I can. Are, are we gonna go from above like last time, or are we gonna just, just like last time? Yeah, there, there we go. I can go. Just like no, last we're looking time. above, guys. Form a circle around me and look up. The photographers will take photos from above or wherever oh, they want. Oh, okay. Hey. Uh, I've never been uh, solely you. invested in a VR chat world more than this. Photographers, that was please let me know when you are ready. I loved it. <laughs> okay. Like, my heart palpitated a couple of times during this story. I am do we sing on the count of three? <laughs> My friend, I'm a kind of watch a real say together. Destroy! Destroy! My friends, photographers, are you ready? Lasagna. Then on the count of three, we make the right choice. One, two, three. Destroy! Destroy the Jedi scum. Camera is probably very concerned right now. All right, I'm gonna end my recording. The FBI agent and all our cameras must be very concerned right now. That's so good. Travelers, friends, before. Anyone says another word. Once again, put your hands together for the one, the only, Trajim the tour guide.